Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the Sonal Current MT2D. <laughs> so MT2D is the first module from Sonal Current and I've actually asked Graham who is the the man behind Sonal Current so what the name actually means. So it is of course a dual triode distortion unit. So that's where the T2D comes from. And then M stands for that it's a signal modifier. And if you have a look at his website, you'll start to see that he does this, the exact same naming convention to some of his future modules as well. So what am I gonna do as I'm gonna get this back into my rack and I'm gonna run you through some sound demos and as always, if you have any questions or if you have any sort of remarks or if you want me to try something special with this module next to setting it a fire in a flame or something, uh, let me know and I'm more than willing to help. Uh, that being said, let's dive right in. Here we go. So let's have a look at the MT2D. It's a great distortion units and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you guys listen to it and I'm also gonna show you what it actually does to the wave shapes and how it distorts them um, I'll keep the camera on the unit because I want you to see how the the tube lights up how everything works perfectly with this and I'm just so in love with this distortion units and I hope you guys will uh, follow along so I'm just gonna grab the triangle wave from the owner and I use that as my input and then I'm gonna take the output straight into my mixer so you guys can hear what it does so here we have the the clean signal so if I turn everything down you'll you'll hear that as well here we go so bias is down tilt is down drive is down feedback is down and also the mix so if I turn the mix up you'll see that I'm gonna lose some of my volume there because I don't have anything that's being well overdriven or distorted so I'm just gonna put that at halfway and I'm just gonna turn up these so that we can see what's happening so I'm gonna turn up the bias and you see that the the tube is already lighting up and I'm just gonna tilt the signal just slightly. As you can see, nothing happens. It'll only happen when I turn the drive up a bit. Here you go. So you see the wave shape distorting halfway through. And if I then turn the tilt, you see that I'm able to actually manipulate the shape even more. There you go. So I'm gonna turn the tilt back down to drive a bit further up and then I'm going to add some feedback look at what this does at the the higher harmonics how this beautifully aligns there and I'm going to chill it a bit further Ooh. such a beautiful thing to see this right and this is nice so I can just eat away one at a time so just a point signal see that it becomes discreet. That's just so beautiful to see if you have this amount of control over your sound. voltage even even down it's much more relaxed 
but still it adds so much warmth to your sound. I hope you guys are enjoying this just as much as I do because <laughs> this is what I like. Turning knobs and seeing what happens and listening to what sounds we're able to create based with based on this. Let's turn the voltage back up. So I think if it's up, uh, so it's the lower voltage is 5 volts. If it's down, it's 12 volt, of course. And you do see the diode, triode, sorry light up the tube and if you turn it all the way up there you go I love this so what I would like to do is I'm going to turn this all down again and I'm going to change this to listen to the go into the uh, Bafako Lich which I'm then going to use the drone books for so that's the um, the setting I use to create my what I like to call my electro punk which probably shouldn't be called electro punk but I like it so let me just grab the other cable there let's grab this and let's grab that so if I now Turn this turn this on. So I'm gonna route that back from the lich into the MT2D. There we go. Beautiful sound, isn't it? But I want to hear how this sounds when we just. <laughs> oh, that is so nasty. I love it. I just I'm, I'm just lost for words that impressed I am with the empty duty I, I just love the 
the warmth and everything that we can do with this. And then keep in mind that I'm only using half of the module right now because we got the exact same thing on the right hand side as well. So what you can actually do, which, well, why not do it? Um, so I'm going to route the output from this first through a low pass filter. I'm using the Z2040 for this and I'm going to use the outputs go into the inputs of this one. First going to start with five volts just so we have a, uh, a good understanding of what the actual sound does throughout the output. And um, I did that the wrong way around. I did that completely wrong, which is no problem, of course, but it's something. I need to grab the outputs. And this is the output that goes there. There we go. Apologies for that. Turn the resonance down all, all the way. So we only have the... Okay. So now, if we turn this all the way down, open up mix to the fullest, grab some of the drive, grab some. That's a bit too much. Something like that, right? Okay, and now we're going to do the exact same thing on the right hand side. You can do so many beautiful things with this. So this is how it sounds if you use the drone box on your Lich or if you use another drone that has comb filters to emulate a guitar sound. Um, one other thing I want to quickly do is I want to use this with a, uh, with a sample of a, um, of a kick drum and see how that sounds. So I'm going to grab this one. No, I'm just going to leave that where it is. I'm just going to grab this one here. in the output there. So I'm going to grab a bit of gate from there. I need a longer cable for that. Grab this gate. Gates in. Let's turn it down for a bit first before we actually dive into what almost sounds like 90s Gabba. There is a bit of resonance there. I'm just playing with the cutoff frequency now. Well, it's nice. Well, that being said, Let's grab another shape from the owner. Let's 
let's grab this as the full throat of him. So just on a, let's just play with that and let's turn it all the way down. So you can see the original wave shape that we're playing with. That's the original wave shape. But let's grab a saw wave. And see how we can mangle that. there as well. And let's play this again. Let me just cut off the, uh, the higher frequencies a bit there. I'm going to add some here. So you see what I did there is I created a lot of higher harmonics on the left hand side, I then cut them off using the low pass filter there and now I'm just adding some new ones with the one on the right. And this is how you can then truly sculpt these sounds if you want. And this is why I love distortion so much, it just adds so much to your palette, to, your, to the colours you can work with. And I can just keep on playing with this device for for hours on end, and I'm record and record everything that I do. Uh, but I'm just looking at the clock there, and I'm already 16 minutes doing nothing else and just playing around and loving what I do. But I think I've been able to give you guys a good understanding of what the actual capabilities are of the MT2D. And let's go back to the studio and wrap this up. But don't get me wrong, I'm going to be playing around with this module for quite a lot of time and I'm going to release a lot of videos that are going to be using, that's going to be using this module too. So, hope you enjoyed this. See you in the studio. Cheers! <laughs> so, I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I hope you can look through my enthusiasm uh, for this module. And this is of course something I truly love. I love the sound of distortion, I love distorted guitars, I love everything that has to do with noise and I love the actual warmth that this module brings to the table. And I have to thank Sono Current and Graham specifically uh, for making this unit available to me. Uh, again, thanks so much guys for sponsoring this episode. And I would like to say to everyone, I hope to see you for my next episode. I mean, until that time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and I hope to see you then. Cheers.